Hey, what's up, tubers? This is the SHTF Hunter. Coming at you with a little video today called Why Should I Care If Russia Invades the Ukraine? Now, uh, yeah, I, I tell a lot of people I about quit watching the news, and to some extent that is true. I don't watch a lot of mainstream news media anymore. I get a lot of information off of uh, YouTube, maybe even a little bit off of Facebook, you know. And so I, I'm still getting some news, still getting information, and you know, a lot of these YouTube preppers have been talking about the Russian invading the Ukraine, and I think some of them are kind of getting, you know, kind of getting off on it because they think it's the beginning of World War III. And my question is, well, why should I even care if Russia invades the Ukraine? I don't care. It's, you know, we got. Our, we got borders here in the U.S. that need protecting worse than a country where the president and his son made a lot of money several years ago. Uh, that's another thing. Did you notice, uh, you know, Crimea got invaded in 2014 when we had a weak pres president. And uh, during the Trump administration, Putin never attempted to, to invade Ukraine, you know. So... Now, you know, Putin senses another weak president. That's why that's why all this is happening. Uh, now, I have put, stepped up my food storage supplies, and I'm, I'm working on that more than I am, you know. I probably won't be doing no firearms and ammo projects much here coming. But uh, I stepped up my, my food storage supplies because not because of what's going on with Russia and Ukraine, but because we got three more years left of Biden. Supply chains bad, inflation's high, gas prices are high. You really want to catch yourself unprepared, you know, with all this going on. And uh, so, so what? Uh, from what I've understood about what's actually going on now in uh, Russia, there uh, where Ukraine is a. Uh, there's been shelling going on, and it's been between uh, for anybody who who doesn't ha haven't kept up with this a little bit. In the Ukraine, there are Russian separatists. That, you know, the ones that the on the, on the side of the river where the border it border borders with Russia more. There are uh, Russian separatists. And they would love to, uh, you know, see Ukraine go back into Russia. From my understanding, the, the shelling that's going on is the Russian separatists, you know, shelling uh, their fellow Ukrainians. And, and the Ukrainians are shelling the separatists. And uh, so far, to my knowledge, it is not Russia doing the shelling. And but do I believe that uh, the the Russian separatists are getting their their artillery from Russia directly from Russian supplies? Yes, you know that that's pretty. Uh, somebody's got to be funding them, so that's a pretty safe guess to believe in right there. Or, uh, but honestly, I could I could care less if uh, Russia invades Ukraine. We got problems here at home. That need addressing worse, and uh, I think the president needs to worry about that. You know, one of the reasons, from my understanding, one of the reasons Russia has been trying to invade the Ukraine was because Ukraine's been been uh, hinting around the idea about joining NATO. And what would that mean for Russia if they join NATO? It, it'd be almost impossible for Russia to invade Ukraine after it becomes a NATO nation because then all of NATO would step in and protect Ukraine. So that's one of the reasons for the aggression and also the fact that Putin senses weakness in the, our current president. I don't know if y'all ever noticed, but when we're, you know, when we start having, when we have a weak president, then all our enemies and just anybody in the world just try to start taking advantage of us. That's why we got such high fuel prices right now because they sense weakness and they're taking advantage of it as long as they can. But, uh, yeah. All right, say we got problems here at home. We got a southern border that needs protecting. I could care less about Ukraine's border. Uh, this is the SHTF Hunter. I'm out.